Well, I think the way you should look at it is, um, you know, again, um, broadly across the market. So, you know, Vega actually has done really well for us. I mean, you know, you see it in um, a bunch of different places. Uh, we saw it in the discrete graphics cards that you talked about, Vega 64 and Vega 56. Um, you saw it in um, some workstations, uh, certainly uh, coming um, uh, from Apple. Um, you have um, seen it in smaller form factors as well. So, you know, Vega architecture is in our notebook graphics and um, is in the work that we do there. Um, we showed the Google Project Stream. That's using Radeon Pro Vega, you know, as well. And, um, you know, we have other, you know, cloud environments that we've used Vega. So, you know, as architectures go, they get better with time. You know, it's like that whole uh, idea of, um, you know, more developers and, um, you know, software optimizations. And Vega has definitely gotten better with time. Um, I think, you know, uh, Vega 7 um, is, uh, we uh, launched it in the fourth quarter for data center applications. And in that form, it's um, MI60 and MI50. And that's going into HPC markets, that's going into um, uh, cloud, uh, that's going into machine learning um, opportunities, that's going into virtualization opportunities. So that's um, one really important segment for Vega. And, um, and then today we talked about uh, Radeon 7 for, uh, for gamers. And I think that just gives you, you know, there's a broad view of, um, of the ecosystem. The uh, 7 nanometer uh, Vega was not supposed to be a consumer graphic card. Why well, that, you guys said that. I never said that. <laughs> it wasn't consumer in 2018. What, 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 I think what we said was we would do data center first. Right, I think okay. that's what we said. Is that that's what we said? Isn't it? Um, we yes. <laughs> we just didn't say anything we, else we, after that. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't say anything else after that. Actually, if I remember correctly, uh, what I said at Computex in June was, you know, you will see seven nanometer gaming parts from us, and um, that's, you know, we we always plan to bring um, Radeon Seven to the market. That was always in the plan. Uh, you know, our goal is, uh, you know, frankly, we want to um, delight our fans, and um, and so we wanted time to get the software um, optimizations ready, and we did quite a bit of that. Um, you know, with with every new architecture, uh, there are things that you know do better. We wanted to do the work that we did with Ubisoft and Capcom, you know, on those optimizations, and then uh, you know bring it out um, when it's ready. And gaming also is, you know, a high volume market and so we wanted the technology to mature a little bit as well. What we want to do is make sure that, um, you know, the consumers have a good idea of when to expect these products. And so, you know, Radeon 7, very quickly, you know, you'll see it on shelf um, in February. Um, I think with um, the next big things, you know, our uh, third generation Ryzen. I know there's a lot of anticipation about that. Um, I, I would. Can, I can use swear words in my title. <laughs> Just say how bad Intel look right now. Well, so you know the the key point is um, the part looks good. Yeah. The part looks really good, and uh, we'll put it out sometime in the middle of the year. Uh, we haven't decided the exact month yet. You know, there's um, a little bit more tuning to be done. Um, we want to get the clocks in the right place. We want to get you know all of the the performance um, in the right place. Um, but it looks good, and uh, you'll see it in the middle of the year. And um, you know, similarly, uh, the next generation Epic is uh, very much um, in development, and you know, we we think things look really good there. And um, you know, you, you see us all the time. Yep. You'll get more information soon. <laughs> Content creators are important to us, and Threadripper has done really well. Actually, I've been pretty pleased at how second gen Threadripper has done. You know, because you know, you think about it as a a pretty um, you know sort of niche type of market, but there are people who want more performance. And so, um, as second generation Threadripper has come into the market, you know, frankly, um, you know the uh, the um, uh, it just looks like more people have adopted. Um, I think the thing about us, you know, keeping our 
infrastructure consistent is important. And um, you know, we'll talk more about Thread Ripper, you know, as we go through 2019. Okay. NVIDIA has ray tracing. What has an AMD? <laughs> I'm not going to get into a tit for tat. That's just not my style. So I, I, I'll tell you that. What I will say is, um, look, ray tracing is an important technology. It's one of the important technologies. There are lots of other important technologies. And uh, you will um, hear more about what we're doing with ray tracing. You know, we certainly have a lot going on, both hardware and software, um, as we bring up um, that entire ecosystem. <coughs> Well, I think what, um, what you'll see is, uh, Ian, we are pretty deliberate in choosing um, how we roll things out, right? And so, um, you know, as with uh, Ryzen and Epic and Radeon, um, you know, the thought process is let's do things in steps. And so, you know, the conversation about, um, hey, you know, Vega wasn't supposed to be in seven nanometer uh, for gamers. Actually, that's not really true, it was. Um, but we were going to do it in steps. And, you know, the same thing in terms of, you know, how we're bringing seven nanometer technology to market. Uh, we're spending a lot more time on software and a lot more time with software developers um, to optimize on AMD. Um, I think that's, uh, that's really critical. Um, I think we are, you know, doubling and tripling down on graphics. Uh, that's, you know, one of the reasons we talk so much about gaming today. But we're thinking about graphics in the broad sense of graphics. And so it's, it's PC gaming, but it's also everything else. Well, I think this, um, this whole notion of breaking chips up is, uh, um, is, you know, sort of the wave of the future, right? So, uh, you know, we did it uh, first with, you know, HBM on the graphics side. And then with these chiplets that we're using um, here in, um, on the Epic and Ryzen side, um, I think chip stacking is, uh, will continue to be important going forward. And you know, we will look at it as, you know, there are different ways to put these architectures together, but I, I think the foundation is something that we believe very much in. So you know, if you look at um, sort of the evolution of Ryzen, uh, you know, we've always had an advantage in core count. And, um, and so in this particular case, we wanted to show sort of a head-to-head -head comparison, eight cores, you know, 16 threads. Um, some people may have um, noticed on the package that uh, there's some extra room. <laughs> we, we, we've already done the... Uh, have you already done the yeah. little... Uh, yeah. <laughs> has somebody done that? Is that right? Yes. I, yeah. um, I, I pushed it before you announced it. Sure. Okay. All right. So there is some extra room on that package, um, and uh, I think you might expect that you know we will have uh, you know more than eight cores. I didn't say how many more. <laughs> I said more. <laughs> Look, we knew FreeSync was the right answer. I mean, we've known FreeSync is the right answer for a couple of years, so. Um, the fact that others have decided FreeSync is now um, a good answer, I think, says that we made the right choice um, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. so you're is just that okay? Happy did, I, did I like <laughs> say it again? You're just happy about it. That they're going to use your, uh, of course, not your, but your technology. I'm not unhappy about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm serious. I'm not. Um, okay. We believe in open standards. You know, we believe in open um, ecosystem. Um, that's been a mantra, you know, so we have no issue with our, um, you know, competitors adopting FreeSync. Um, we think that's just, that just means that, you know, it's better for gamers and, and uh, you know, we did a good job. <laughs>